Hello, welcome to Lachlan Country Club. I'm Hank McFarland, the head PGA professional. In the year 2015, the members of Lachlan Country Club started a golf course renovation project called Project Emerald. Within this project, we regrassed all the greens, we regrassed our tees and our fairways, and also rebuilt all the bunkers on the golf course. So what we're doing now is we're coming up with a video series to help show our members and our members' guests how we would like the golf course to be taken care of from this point forward. The members of Lachlan, uh, the golf course was closed down for about eight months for this entire project. A lot of money was spent. And I think what you're going to find is the are the changes that were done are absolutely magnificent. And we want to give our members the opportunity to have the best condition golf course that they can have. So please hang with us. We're going to go through some few things in terms of etiquette, cart etiquette, bunker etiquette, and maybe slide in a uh, maybe a lesson or two in there while we're doing it. Thank you. The Project Emerald Greens turned out absolutely perfectly. Uh, this is my third golf course construction project, and this is the first time I've ever seen the greens fill in 100 uh, percent. The type of grass that, that was selected by the Project Emerald Committee uh, is really lush, thick grass and can withstand some punishment, but at the same time we have to take really good care of it. And one of the things that we're going to ask our members and our guests and our staff to do is when they're playing golf, if you could always please fix at least your ball mark on the green plus one other. And if you don't make a ball mark on the green, go ahead and fix one anyway. A lot of times people will hit the ball over the green and uh, not even think that they made a ball mark, but what really happened was the ball probably struck the green at some point and left a mark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we would like you to fix a ball mark. There is a right way and an incorrect way to fix a ball mark, and I'll show you both and show you what we'd like you to do. First of all, in order to fix a ball mark, you need either a divot repair tool or just a regular old T will work as well. Divot re tool, tool repairs, divot repair tools work a little bit better in the fact that they have two prongs on them and enable you to get a little bit better depth. So what we're going to do, you can see here, I have two ball marks here right side by side. What we want to do is we want to put our divot repair tool on the very outside edge of the indentation of, w of where the ball landed. And what we want to do is kind of counterintuitive but we want to pull that turf on the outside edge towards the center of the ball mark. Okay, it's kind of, it, it's like I said, it's counterintuitive. Most people want to pull up and we don't want to do that. We want to pull inward from the outside edges of that ball mark. And we're going to work ourselves around that old ball mark. And then what we're going to do is after we've worked around that, we're going to tap it down with our putter or we can step on it with our foot. You can see right there that has been perfectly fixed. A ball mark on a green, if you fix it immediately, will repair in about 24 to 48 hours. If a ball mark left, is left unfixed, it will take about three to four weeks to heal. So when you go on the golf course and you see little brown spots on a green that are looks like an old ball mark with dirt in it, that's a, that's a ball mark that was not repaired or was not repaired correctly. Once again, we want to put the, I'll use a T this time, I want to put it on the outside and pull towards the center. More importantly, what we want to make sure we don't do is we do not want to lift up on the center of that ball mark. That will tear the roots underneath and that grass inside that ball mark will die. So we want to make sure we work around the outside edge. We want to push all that turf to the center and then we want to tap it down with the bottom of our putter or you can step on it with your foot and voila, that green is returned to normal and within, like I said, one to two days, that will be perfect.